rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. Terms often used interchangeably, but in fact are two very different joint conditions. Generally speaking, arthritis can be broken into two broad categories, osteoarthritis and inflammatory arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is the most common form of inflammatory arthritis. There are some very basic and clear differences between these two forms of arthritis. They affect different joints. As you can see by the joints marked in black, osteoarthritis most commonly affects the hips and knees, the big toes and base of the thumbs, and the most distal part of the fingers, causing pain and sometimes bony enlargement. It is unusual for osteoarthritis to affect other joints. On the other hand, rheumatoid arthritis can cause pain and swelling to nearly any joint, with typical joints being the proximal joints in the hand, wrists, and toes, in addition to all the other joints highlighted in grey. The pain or discomfort from osteoarthritis is typically worse with activity and improves with rest. Rheumatoid arthritis is the opposite, being worse with rest and better with activity. Many people with RA also describe being stiff in the joints for at least one hour in the morning. Who gets arthritis? Osteoarthritis is relatively common, incurring in approximately 10% of the population and increasing with age. While not entirely accurate, it is often thought of as being due to wear and tear. Rheumatoid arthritis, a disease caused by the body's immune system, only affects 1% of the population and occurs at any age. Genetics and smoking can increase your risk of developing either form of arthritis. While osteoarthritis is limited to the joints, poorly controlled rheumatoid arthritis can start to affect other organs, including the heart, lungs, blood, skin, and eyes. Because of their differences, the treatment options are also very different. Management of osteoarthritis involves control of pain and maintaining function. The goal of treatment of rheumatoid arthritis is remission using specialized medications called DMARDs. This has been an introduction to osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. For more complete information, please visit our website at www.edmontonrheumatology.com or discuss it further with your own doctor.